Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is k to the power of k equals k power 4. We are solving for all values of k that satisfies this equation. So let's start with the first method. I have k power k equals k power 4. I can decide to divide this by k power 4 and divide this by k to the power 4. So this, eliminate this, I'll have k power k divided by k power 4 equals 1. Now, if you have a power n divided by a power m equals a power n minus m, applying this right here, I will have k power k minus 4 equals 1. So at this point, I apply natural log of natural log of k power k minus 4 equals natural log 1. Now, if you have natural log a power p, this equals p times natural log a. Applying that here, we have k minus 4 times natural log k equals natural log 1 is 0. So at this particular point, I can equate each of these to 0. I have k minus 4 equals 0. I have natural log k equals 0. So if k minus 4 equals 0, we can solve for k by simply moving negative 4 across this equality sign. That means k equals positive 4. That is our k1. Now to solve for k here, I need to bring in the Euler's identity. Now, I can have e power ln k equals e power 0. Remember, e to the power of ln cancel out. So that means we have k equals e power 0. And from here we have k equals e to the power of 0 is 1. Now we have gotten two values for k, which, which are k equals 4 and k equals 1. Now, looking at this particular equation, you have k power k equals k power 4. I can also decide to start solving by taking the natural log of both part of this equation right away, even without dividing. And remember again, natural log a power p equals p times natural log a. So applying that here and here, that means you have k times natural log k equals 4 times natural log k. Now at this point, I can decide to solve it in two different ways. I can simply divide each part of this equation by natural log k. Have you seen that? Doing it this way simply means that the natural log k cancel natural log k natural log k cancel natural log k and this will only leave us with one solution which is k equals 4. But for you to have two different solutions using this particular method, at this particular point you have k times ln k equals 4 times ln k. I can move this over here to form an equation and when I do that I will simply have k times ln k minus 4 times ln k equals 0. So I will equate each of these to 0. But before then, let's factor out ln k, which is common on both sides. I have ln k times this divides ln k. I have k minus this divides ln k. I have 4 and this equals 0. So at this particular point in time, I can equate this to 0, that means ln k equals 0. 
and k minus 4 also equals up. So from here, you can solve this by moving this over here. So k equals 4. And also you can solve this by making use of e. f e power ln k equals b power 0. And from here, e eliminate ln. And you have your k equals e power 0. And this equals 1. So you have two values for k as well using this particular method. So everything depends on how you want to go about it. In fact, I can also decide to solve this without actually solving. Look at it here, you have k power k equals k power 4. Now this is what most of us will do because there is this identity if you have a power a equals a power b. Some people will make use of this identity by saying that a equals b because when the bases are the same what you need to do is to equate the exponent so in this particular case the bases are the same so the exponent can be equated so looking at this particular equation here the exponents are the same so they or the bases are the same so we can equate the exponent by simply saying that k equals 4 but the Bad thing is that this will only give you one solution. Now, this will only give you one solution. If you look for many other solutions or for more than one solution, you need to consider any of these methods that I've solved at the end. So, in total, we have two different solutions, which are k equals 4 and k equals 1. These are the two solutions that we have gotten in this particular equation. Now, we are going to check if these two solutions will satisfy the equation. This is k power k equals k power 4. So let's start when k equals 1. And if k equals 1, what you need to do is to insert this 1 for k here. We have 1 power 1. Is it the same thing as 1 power 4? That is the question mark. But what you need to know is that 1 raised to the power number or any number is 1. 1 raised to the power of 1 is 1 equals. 1 raised to the power of 4 is 1. So 1 raised to the power of any number is 1. That is why this side and this right side are now the same. This means that 1 has satisfied the equation. So let's consider when k equals 4. What you are going to have is k power k equals k power 4. So you substitute 4 for k, you have 4 power 4 equals 4 power 4. You can even simplify this further by finding out the value of 4 power 4. Remember, 4 is a perfect square, which is 2 power 2 as well. And I have it's raised to the power of 4 equals 2 power 2. And this is raised to the power of 4 as well. So remember also that if you have a power x raised to the power of y, this equals a power x times y. So I multiply this and I multiply this exponent. So what I will have is 2 power 8 equals 2 power 8. And 2 raised to the power of 8 is 2 into 8 places, that is 256. So, and this equals 256. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have done a lot in this particular video. We have exhausted all the methods that you can actually use to solve this exponential problem. If there is any other approach that you want me to know, kindly drop it on the comment box so that in my next video, I will do something about it. And also, is there any other solution that you think that we have actually not included? Drop it on the comment box as well. Thank you and goodbye.